we're talking about this number right now, uh, this big number. The U.S. is distributing 400 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine around the world. The White House reporting that Pakistan received the highest number of doses, 47 million. Dr. Jen, as we likely are weeks away from a significant break in Omicron cases and still seeing high numbers of overall cases, we're learning more about the risk of long COVID syndrome. Yeah. I know a lot of people who've had it are talking about that. What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, and we are learning more about this. And we have to remember, Phil, that it's not just can you survive or get through the acute illness, uh, which most people do, but it's that post-COVID syndrome. Now, a recent study, the largest to date, uh, just published in the journal Cell, found four associated risk factors. Now, I want to emphasize associated, so we don't yet have cause and effect, but they found that these four factors, an increased viral load of COVID, COVID in the blood. They measured the, the uh, RNA actually in the blood of people with COVID-19. If those people had the presence of certain autoantibodies, that was an associated risk factor. If they also had um, antibodies to the Epstein-Barr virus in their blood, and if they had pre-existing type 2 diabetes. Right now, we still need a lot more research to find out how these factors increase their risk. But again, the more you know how to identify it, then you can really get aggressive with And I think that's what people need to remember, that we are still going through this and yeah. we are still learning more every day. How about the, the symptoms? Well, when you talk about post-COVID syndrome, um, people need to be aware of these symptoms. They run the gamut. The most common ones, brain fog, cognitive issues, fatigue, musculoskeletal pain, breathing problems. Um, we don't know what causes this yet. And so unfortunately, there is no definitive treatment at this time. But based on the two years of data we have, it can affect 10 to 30 percent of people mm. with either mild or severe COVID. And this can persist months after their initial diagnosis. I can't tell you how many people I know that say yeah. even two, three months later, they're it's breathing a, a little heavy trying to get up the stairs. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Jen, thanks. Thank well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.